Hi everyone, I'm Frida Pashako. Actually, I'm not an expert in mobility. <laughs> and so uh, we are partners with Martin and uh, Ray uh, together in the municipality of Tirana. But of course, I want to say that it's a huge collaboration. So what I'm now going to present, it's not my work or it's Okay, but are the, it's the strategy of the Tirana uh, mobility vision. This means it's the uh, master plan or the general regulatory plan of, uh, of Tirana. We, we have uh, a representative picture, as Ray said, for there are some DR's pictures that we used to keep in our office but often in our mind and for us is the huge transformation of the Skanderbeg Square uh, in a big roundabout uh, for cars and now in a huge pedestrian um, area. This is not only by chance but it's based on the strategy of the master plan during uh, the preparation of the master plan the studio Boeri studio have collaborated with different experts in the field of mobility. Uh, so there are different principles uh, in which the general local um, it's based and for, first of all it's the idea of a polycentric city. In the moment in which we are thinking about a polycentric city, this means that every neighborhood or some pole of the city should be reachable and should be accessible, not only by car, but in different way. And uh, the, what is important is to create and to find a balance between nature and urban development. So it's not only what is happening within the, the city, the urban territory, but how we can connect with the villages that are around Tirana that are a uh, huge uh, heritage, natural heritage that we have and uh, uh, they are so, uh, so close to us, five kilometers, two kilometers, uh, that there are distances. Five kilometers is something that we can reach through a uh, bike, cycling. It's something that it's uh, in our view. Uh, how even the mayor yesterday talked about it, the Albanian relationship with the car, somehow it's even um, influenced by the fact that uh, during the regime uh, we had only 2,000 cars uh, that, are not, that were not private but all public. This means that no one has its own car. Uh, this is why we had differently during the 2002 and 2005 and so on, uh, within in the global average, the, uh, the property of a car was uh, going in uh, invert a trend. Here in Albania, we have uh, the, the necessity or somehow to, to own, it, it was a status symbol to have its own car. So uh, there were some years in which uh, the mobility was influenced even by uh, those facts. But of course, nowadays, the trend and the principles are different. Uh, the inverted pyramid, they say to us that we should have the pedestrian in the first place and then uh, in the last one, the parking area, and this means the vehicles. Um, what is nice in uh, this photo uh, picture is even the uh, structure of the city. Uh, we have had uh, during the 1930-1940 Italian protectorate during uh, that period, Gerardo Bosio uh, drafted the first um, master plan of Tirana and uh, it was based on ring road and concentric rings. Uh, that structure of the city was based on the idea of the garden city. We are talking a lot of years before, but it seems that it's the same vision that we have today. So somehow to integrate nature into the city. And this old structure of the town helped us to work on it and improve different strategies. So 
the mobility is not only a matter of network and road, but it's of course connected with pedestrian. Pedestrian means pedestrian route, pedestrian network means and needs very important and good uh, public spaces, squares, uh, kindergarten, uh, uh, or spaces between uh, the, the buildings. Uh, so the idea is to create not only in the center of Tirana on the main boulevard, uh, the interconnection between the pedestrian routes with the public spaces, but implemented it even in the other neighborhood. So what are you doing uh, in this workshop helps somehow to realize and complete these maps, not only for for the most important boulevard and acts that is the administrative and uh, let's say the old and historical axis, but as this, we, in, we have to create in you know, the other neighborhood. So somehow to uh, create um, intermodality and between the uh, different vehicles and the public space. Uh, in the Tirana, to 2030, the mobility vision is again based on a huge area in the middle of the city that should be transformed or mostly uh, used more by pedestrian. And as you can see, we started with the hair of our city, that is Skanderbeg Square. It was one of the strategic projects. And now, going uh, beyond that, we have to reach the third and the fourth ring in order to complete this vision. Another important mobility principle is the developing of the minimum grid. It was uh, complicated in the beginning to create this minimum grid. Uh, we have to remove the parks uh, area uh, besides the, the main streets, but then now we can see that in the city it was, should be completed and implemented. We have uh, a satisfied uh, minimum grid. Not only in the city with the minimum grid or in the urban area, but the idea to use the bicycle to reach, as I said, even the other uh, territory of Tirana around the urban um, network, it's important. So uh, there are some potential as, for example, the la Lake of Farca, the Lake of Tirana, uh, and the natural itinerary that should be introduced in our uh, next uh, minimum grid. Of course, the public transport is important and can be left beside and uh, GIZ is working uh, in collaboration with the municipality about this topic that is very important. Improve the bus network to connect high density node. It's so important to develop the uh, polycentric city. Without the public transport, somehow, even uh, the uh, dream of the pedestrian city, it's uh, uh, far away. It's a topic that it's not nice, how the, uh, the track and the uh, large track somehow uh, circulate, but you can see here a picture of the Skanderbeg Square before the renovation in which we have a uh, huge track that crossed the, the city center. And uh, to understand how we can bypass the urban space, it's important in order to provide safety a road and streets for everyone. This is another important piece of the city. It's the new boulevard in which you can see that uh, uh, it's not only a matter of traffic on the road network, but it's our, it is designed to reflect uh, the desire of, of everyone. So you can have different uh, users of this space. It is designed for uh, the cars, but it's designed for the bicycles, it is designed for the pedestrian, and it's offered rooms and space for everyone to use the same itinerary, but in different, um, different uh, mobility and in different uh, times. The first, uh, as I said, Tirana is continuing to base its uh, own vision on the concentric greens, as it was done during the uh, Italian uh, master plan. And the third ring should be a big distributor in, that will improve the traffic flow. 
and um, even connect uh, within a different part of the city. It's very nice actually because uh, in the master plan of the 1939 we find the word big ring, medium ring and small ring. Actually, even today, we use the same terminology. So uh, this um, structure of the city, it's so eradicated even in our mentality that somehow it functioned. And we still, after so many years, a century, we continue to communicate or to organize uh, the uh, map of our city in our mind in the same way. Parking, it's the big deal of this theme, parking and mobility. So it's somehow complicated and the expert can talk for hours about it. But uh, for us, what's somehow a good result to have in the city for underground parking in a strategic point of the city, connected, well connected with the third and the fourth ring. And the fourth ring, it's uh, the most important um, ring or it will be a green corridor of 12 kilometers that will connect it very important space of the cities um, about the fourth ring in the moment in which now it's under construction the fifth one and it's close to the conclusion of it there were even in 2008 some discussion it seems not important because in the moment in which we have we have the third one that is the small one uh, and then we are now creating the fifth one that it's somehow extreme it connect uh, all the city uh, the fourth one seems that it was not important so uh, the idea of the studio that drafted the master plan was no it, it's important but maybe on other point of view not a point of view of connection by car but connection of other type of mobility and in, f in fact it connect very important and very beautiful places of, of Tirana uh, the park the big park it goes close to the lake of Harka and it uh, touched the north uh, boulevard so it will be an important development for the city uh, to somehow uh, provide even this fourth ring uh, with the uh, necessity or with the infrastructure to transform it in a green corridor. Uh, what is interesting is that um, this corridor or this street, uh, the fourth uh, uh, ring itself, it's not something that happened only uh, by public investment, but through the developing of the city, we are going to somehow realize portion of pieces of, this, uh, of these rings. How? In the moment in which we have the developing of new buildings, they used to um, somehow provide or to uh, group the, um, all the buildings that were there before, so we are talking about a lot of buildings in one new one, leaving the space around to create the new mobility. And even the strategy how to connect not only Tirana but with the airport and the port are part of this uh, strategy and the new rapid transit system uh, it seems that will become a reality very soon it will connect the uh, x train sta station with the airport that will be the first step and it will be uh, very interesting to see it implemented now at the ministry they are going for the approval of the last uh, uh, segment of it now I will to bring you about based on this project uh, after uh, the master plan was approved some strategic or pilot uh, projects are part of that master plan and we started with some of them uh, that are already implemented around there in the Not to interrupt the presentation, but I'd like to, for all of us to give a round of applause for all the students coming from Oman that have to leave for the airport now. It was a great pleasure having you here. Thank you for coming and <laughs> it's a pity that you can't see the implemented project, but maybe you have had the chance to visit the city of Tirana and so already visit and see them. 
But uh, this is the bike lines that I uh, show before the, in the big pictures how it seems. But what is interesting is that we are provided in our budget not only to create it for the first time, but now we are enlarging them because after the first moment in which it was so difficult to create the first minimum grid at the bike line, now we can improve or uh, implement it in the next segment in a better way. And of course, the walkable squares, uh, as I mentioned before, that it's not only a pedestrian space, but it's a qualitative public space uh, within the, the urban density. And um, in the project of the um, Skanderberg Square was very complicated because it brings to us not only a pavement, a big square, but brings to us a small, um, forest in the city with Mediterranean plants that are planted all around the main uh, square. Somehow to perceive or to have a taste of what is Albania it in its most important square, in the main square of the city and Albania. Um, pedestrian areas, as Ray shows, uh, need some sm small furniture or very easy, something that people can rearrange. And um, the benches here were a su success because we're not fixed benches, but something in, in, the moment, in the first moment we were skeptical, thinking about the fact that the day after we will not find any of them. But now they are still there and people used to create their own space. So it's necessary just a little bit of water, some fountains, a little bit of shadow, a little bit of benches, and the pedestrian area takes life. So, um, I think and I believe a lot in the project that Ray and Simon are uh, going further in different schools that it's important to, uh, to the community to give the space and to give the minimum of the tools. After that, uh, we are a very lucky uh, country in which the weather is perfect, the rest happens by itself. And um, again, some pictures of the new boulevard. As I said, it's important because it provides an uh, important connection, but besides this, uh, offered the opportunity to different kinds of vehicles, bicycle, public transportation, and uh, pedestrian to go uh, close to each other without uh, uh, interfering and in the same time being safety. This is how it was before, because we used to forget very soon uh, the <laughs> how this, the city seems before, because in the moment in which the project is implemented, it seems that it was always been there. And um, other projects that are very interesting, this is Boulevard de Zogui Park, that is actually where we are. Here, starting from downstairs until the end of the boulevard on the north side, we have somehow, uh, it was already there, but transformed the main uh, space for the bicycles, in, uh, regenerating the facade and the sidewalks with um, not creating differentiation, level differentiation between the street and the sidewalk and in the public space offering, introducing some works of art and it was amazing, not only by architectural point of view, but even real, real estate point of view. The price of these apartments and uh, shops somehow doubled or even more in, after the works were finished. The same happened in the bazaar. This was a previous project. It was a, a space uh, in degradation. And after, you can see how it was before and how after the completion or how it is now, it's uh, another important space of the city in which again the real estate has uh, provided us with some data that are amazing about the property. And uh, yeah, Ray presented it very well but it can be missed in my presentation as a uh, implemented and successful project, the school streets, and I hope to somehow cover all the neighborhood with the same project. 
but even some other initiative, because we as planner, we can talk about mobility, ring, street, and so on. But besides this, it's important to activate the social activities and social components. So uh, Tirana has some days that uh, it is the every last day, Sunday of the month that is without car and it's uh, an opportunity it seems a big uh, street party for all the city and uh, we all enjoy it um, the bus lines some of the most important streets are equipped now with the uh, bus lines uh, again some other activity in collaboration with the U european partners about the uh, mobility week in tirana uh, from september uh, we have hosted this uh, big event that it's enjoyed it. And um, yeah, we are going further without collaboration, uh, in, in which uh, it's important uh, the presence of the foreigner expert as Giz in this case. case. And we, are we created this working task force. We are in the beginning and let's see what will be happen. But it's nice to have in Tirana a task force that is deal only with all working uh, issues. So it's uh, innovative and I think that it will give its fruits in the future. And last, uh, the underground park that it's a necessity to have before they were not part of the city. But what is important, it's not only to have during the day the possibility to park your car, but they are very nice space in which the young people of the city can somehow enjoy parties or other activity. So again, uh, working not only in one direction, but working uh, in, uh, in alternative ways, thinking all the time how we can uh, use modal um, uh, infrastructure or create modal infrastructure, it's uh, uh, important for the development and the balanced uh, development of the city. Thank you.